what has the early part of the Germany trip uh, been like for you? Is it catch up on sleep or uh, enjoy the city a little bit? Um, um, hit the city a little bit. Um, yeah, that was about it. Um, got some sleep. Tried to get some sleep at least. Um, schedule was getting kind of normal um, coming into today. So, Jalen, you uh, seem to shine your brightest on the international stage. Uh, coming back from your experience back in uh, the London game, what are some things that you took from that game leading up to preparation that you bring with you here to uh, Germany too as well? Honestly, about nothing. Um, it's two different games, two different years against two different opponents. So I um, really didn't bring nothing. Um, these international games was a little different for our schedule-wise and the way we you know, got to go about the game. But I feel like it's going to help that we played in it two years ago. But ultimately, it's going to be about you know going out there and – Handling business. I did have a follow up. What What do you get River Cray, Craycraft for his birthday? Do you get him anything for his birthday today, or? Huh? <laughs> it's his birthday. I know it's Riff's birthday. Oh, no, yeah. Happy birthday, Riff. <laughs> um, yeah, he was with us um, a little bit in the town, um, so we got to spend some time together. Nothing like Tom. I don't. Hey, Jalen. I don't know if Taylor Swift is coming. Are there any reports on Taylor? She's come. Had this. According to Twitter, Taylor Swift is coming. Your thoughts? On oh, Taylor Swift coming? Um, it's gonna be fun. Um, I guess. I'm a Swifty. Uh, my follow is that um, when you're to a tongue of Iloa, it probably feels like the whole world is watching you. And on Sunday, literally, the world will be watching. We're in a different part of the world. How do you think he's built for this moment? Um, I think he's built for it. You know, he played on big stages before. Um, they're playing on big stages, you know, his entire career. And I feel like the highlights and spotlight always been on him, um, going back to college and going into the NFL. So I think he's built for it. Hi, Jalen. Uh, how does the team prepare you for the Frankfurt experience? And did they tell you something in advance, something Frankfurt specific or things to know? Um, yeah, they gave us a little um, history and, and background of, of Frankfurt, um, you know, how historic it is and, you know, kind of give us a rundown where we're going to be staying, um, where to go, um, how things is, what to do out here, the historic you know, like museums and stuff like that. Um, gave us a little rundown of that, so that's about it. What's going on, Jalen? Uh, I wanted to ask about Tyreek again. It seems like in the year plus since he's been here, you guys, you two have specifically really created a strong uh, friendship relationship. I was curious what Tyreek has kind of meant to you as an older receiver in the room um, and, you know, just being uh, you know, his teammate over the last year. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Um, Tyreek really just, you know, made me really up my game. You think you, you know, a, a baller and a, a good player, then, you know, meet someone like Tyree comes in and um he's a you know legendary um historic and y'all see that throughout the week so um he just you know brings the team along got higher energy brings it each and every week um you know and that's what we expect from him but um yeah he just makes everybody up their game I know everyone talks about how competitive he is but is there like a, a story that or kind of a memory that comes to mind of him uh, just being crazy competitive um it's a lot. It's a, it's really weekly. Um, and go out there. He got a dog mentality. Um, I just go into you know the way he practiced um, in the off season, back to OTAs, and you think a guy of that caliber um, wouldn't go out there and you know give it all he got um, on a weekly, but go in weekly and just be a dog. Thank you. Hi, Jalen, over there. Hi, Jalen, over here in the background. What's happening? Um, you have some, some uber-fast guys in the offense, uh, obviously being very produf productive uh, this year. Is that the secret, adding speed and dominating the NFL? Uh, nah, it, it's not. I think uh, every team got a lot of fast guys, and throughout the league is, is a lot of speed. I think we get a lot of praise for our speed, but um, we do a lot more than just run fast. But, you know, the – Splash and highlight is always going to be when someone running 22, 23 miles per hour. But uh, do a lot more than just you know, run fast. Additional, uh, what what do you do more? So what's the secret of your offense this year? Well, I can tell you one thing. If you're going to be in this offense, you're, you're going to block. Um, 
Mike praised that and um, how you get a lot of your passes by um, going in and digging out safeties, occasional linebackers, sometimes the ends, with extension of the run game. So, yeah. One more, one more question uh, about Mike McDaniel. He has a, a special history as a coach, um, also about his in his personal life. So he talks very open about his former alcohol addiction. How uh, does he talk to you guys about that uh, specific topic? Um, yeah, he kind of you know when he first came in, gave us the history of you know um, how he came up in the, in the coaching ranks and what he had to overcome um, when he first came in. But going in. To it, he, you know, not something that we really like ask about or comes out and just openly say, but he definitely gave us a history of everything he'd been through.